Hello, this is Cornette here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be giving you tips and tricks on how to improve your Minecraft play. So, first things first, you always want to mine the three tall trees. Basically, they're the biggest trees you can get without having a complete mess of the large trees back there. Then, secondly, you're going to want to mine 11 blocks of stone. It's the perfect amount. Oh, and this is silverfish stone. Uh, cut, cut. Okay. Thirdly, you're going to want to find your base set up. Now, I spawned next to a village, but the village is interesting. It has three towers and a blacksmith, which is very good. That's a very good place to start your base. It's near some stuff, but I think the most important thing is you have to spawn next to a large body of water. Always place near a large body of water. Rivers are important, lakes are okay, and oceans are almost perfect. Now I marked this gold pillar because I thought this was a perfect place to set your base. You have caves nearby, which are also a very important part for your base. Basically easy access to iron resources like this, and wow, this goes very deep. Um, <laughs> Really easy access to ores and stuff is really important, especially stone, so you can start like a quarry here. And then also just the river for um, fishing and stuff, and then you got the fill. Okay. Thirdly, since I've already opened this chest, this is the optimal tool layout. You don't really need an axe, I don't use an axe all that often, um, because you can just make an iron one and chop down a ton, ton of trees and wait a couple days and then do it again. Uh, so you got sword, bow, pickaxe, pickaxe, and shovel. You want one fortune, one silk touch, in this order specifically. Okay? And then these are a few items I think you should always carry on you in your inventory. So you're always going to need wood, just in case you're going mining or going exploring. You always need water. You always need iron. You always need coal, just in case you want to make more torches. You need torches, just in case you're going mining. You need an ender chest, of course. You need a shulker box in case you're going to find things and pick stuff up. Then you're going to need a flint and steel to burn all the trash that you find. And then finally, an iron axe to cut down more trees. Okay, thirdly, door setup. This is very, 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 very important. You always need the proper door setup. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of examples of where you go wrong. Buttons. See? Exactly. There's a certain set time that allows you to go through the door and they're impossible to hit on the floor. Okay, secondly, levers. You can open it from the front, but once that thing is activated, you can't open it from the back. Terrible mistake. Now finally, pressure plate. This, oh wait, I'm in creative. <laughs> Anyways, the pressure plate is the superior way to open the door because not only when you open it with your hand, you can walk straight in and it'll close directly behind you. No mobs are getting in from one side. I mean, if you have pressure plates on both sides, well then, I guess it will work. A ton of zombies will run in. Okay. Th I forgot to count. Okay, this, num this number, which I totally remember, is lighting. You always want, po these are not spaced properly. So the proper lighting is end rods. Okay, I'm going to show you the terrible examples here. First off, you have glowstone. Okay, it's alright if you have a carpet on top or whatnot. Really easy to get, but it looks absolutely disgusting. Like, what is that? Secondly, redstone lamp. You're going to need a lever to activate it, or a redstone torch, which is just too much space for lighting. Thirdly, sea lanterns. Impossible to get, and I don't know, they release blue light or whatnot. I heard that it was bad for your eyes. Uh, and then there's end rods. Pure white light, very skinny. You can use them for like those weird things that you find on your office ceiling that are always some for some reason you have to be broken. Um, basically, they're perfect. You can make tight ropes. When I know you have chains now, but I can mean, come on, end rods. They look absolutely amazing, and they live off the glow. Um, I think they may be harder to get than the thing, but they're definitely worth it. Okay, and then finally, fishing rod. Fishing rod, um, it's not fun. Fishing rods are always important because not only do you get food, 
you get loot, but you also get XP. This is why it's always important to be near a river or a large source of water. Fishing is important for the early game because you're going to get a ton of XP, a ton of things. Also, since you can't get mending books and enchantment tables anymore, this is probably your best option instead of villagers, which are just so tiring. And then finally, this thing. This is a super smelter, and it smelts things really fast. That's all you need to know. Alright guys, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. See you all later.